Hey guys, Spartan 85 here. Today we're checking out Road to Vostok. Road to Vostok is a hardcore single player survival game set in a post apocalyptic border zone between Finland and Russia. Survive, loot, plan, and prepare your way across the border zone and enter Vostok. This is very, very early access demo, so it's very bare bones. It's kind of just showing off what the developer is going to bring eventually. Um, so we're going to check it out for a little bit. Uh, it is one it is a one man developer team and he has uh, extensive military uh, experience. So he's trying to design it uh, sort of like Arma or something like an army game, kind of like that, where it's very realistic and everything's. So we're going to check it out. Uh, play demo and the music's really good. I really enjoy the music. The, the intro music is really good. I, I had to turn it down because it was so loud. So... This is just kind of the staging area. Um, each sign just kind of welcomes you. This is basically telling you it's a public demo. Uh, the purpose is to get initial feedback about mechanics and stuff. So these are all the controls. It's mainly F. I, I'm so used to hitting the E for everything, but a lot of it is F and the middle mouse button to interact with things. So here's what the containers look like. You have to push the middle mouse to open it up. And there's the crate. These are all the items in the game right now, basically. This is it. They have a radio, a candle, and then all these are kind of like demo items. You can pick them up, and you can see them in your inventory, but that's just what it looks like right now. So, like I said, this is very early access. Here's all the guns, and you can try out every single gun. So, uh, let's, let's just pick every single one up. Um, my personal... Favorite game, a game, favorite, favorite gun, I think is this one here. And you can have a, a secondary, so you can put your pistol there. So I'll bring these two in, and then you hit one to bring your gun up. Whoop, wrong one. You hit one to bring your gun up. There we go. So it's got a nice little scope. The guns look very nice. Look very, very nice. Here's the bad guys here, uh, AI spawner. So it's basically saying you can go F1 and turn on F on AI spawner. So mine is already on, looks like it. So, and you can hit F1 and basically change all of these things if you want. Bloom, um, all that kind of stuff. And here's the roadmap. So we are right, public demo, um, quarter three of 2022. So this is where we're at right now. All we have is map and buildings, basically. And then quarter three, 2023, we're gonna have a larger map and um more stuff maybe and maybe different map i don't know if that means different maps or what that means and then like i said we're gonna have more and more so i don't know if he's gonna have if, if that means a bigger map or if that means more maps but he's gonna be adding more more items and more npcs so all right well let's jump into the uh tutorial oh, the tu i call it a tutorial let's jump into the demo real quick All right, so here we are. So it's a really, it's a very pretty game. I will say that. And so we'll check out this house right here. And you can kind of go around and loot things like this right here. You can loot, and it shows you different things in it. So this is going to be, you're going to be, and this is a is a survival game. So you're going to need to find food and water and ammo. So it's gonna, this is going to be a scrounging type of game. Um, I'm going to turn that candle on, but it won't let me, I guess. Okay, whatever. So let's walk around a little bit. Um, another container here we can search. Nothing in it. So basically, it's all demo items right now. We can open the door. Walk around. But that's pretty much it. That's the extent of it, is looting. Here's a candle here. Yeah, you can light the candle. There you go. There's another container. So... It's looking really cool. Looking really cool. So, at this point, we have to go find some bad guys now. To There's a... Oh, we're getting shot at. The one thing about this game is it's really hard to see where they're at. There's no bullet tracing at all. So you cannot really see where they are. You kind of have to gauge from, like, where... Oh, he's right there.
Got him. Okay. Like, so there's no bullet tracing. You kind of have to, like, gauge it by where you're at and how they're shooting you. <laughs> so, and you can loot the guns that they drop. Uh, there's an RK-62. And you can loot the bodies, too. So there's all the things. Here's the gun the AI was using here. Just a little, kind of like an AK-47 kind of um, Eastern Europe gun here. Oh, he got me there. I did see the bullet. I did see the muzzle flash on that one. I did see the muzzle flash. So usually I did. I don't see that. So that that's interesting. But he had me pegged on that one. Now, from what I've seen, I've only played this demo for about five minutes before this, and it seems like when you die, I think the guy that killed you does go away, I think, and a new a new guy spawns, and there's only one guy per map, or one guy per time, I should say. So, I don't think he's over here still. Yeah, see, he's not over here, so you just got to walk around and find the next guy. I'm guessing he's over here if we haven't taken fire. Um, definitely want to move between cover like I've not been doing. And uh, this, I should say, this is open world too, so you can move freely through the map. As you can see, I'm doing here, you can jump. So, <coughs> so as the map gets bigger or whatever, it's going to be fun to explore these and kind of use the entire terrain to your advantage. Okay, that sounded like it was off to my right. No windows in this building. I can't use this building. Okay. Is that him up there? No, that's not him. Oh boy. Oh, see, I can't see him. I guess I'll have to... Oh, yeah, he got me. Okay, I was going to try to flank him to the left, but that's probably my one complaint about this is spotting them is so hard, and maybe that's intentional by the developer, as he's trying to make this extremely realistic. I Maybe we're so spoiled by Call of Duties and Battlefields that, you know, you can spot the guy instantly on a heat map or something like that. So, I don't know if that is intentional or or what. I do want to try to just... The gun feels good as it shoots. It has good recoil. I really enjoy that. Now, there is a sniper rifle, too. It's, it's single, single shot. Wrong button again. And I think... So you hit one shot, and then you got to reload. There's the reload sequence. You don't really see it, but you do see the shell ejecting, which is pretty cool. Here's another POI kind of area, a little camping area. Looks like another place we can probably loot when the time comes. You can loot the tent. So you can... It's civilian tent is what it's called. So we have that. Um looking for this bad guy and the problem is you kind of look or you kind of just walk around to either you spot one there's the edge of the map that's what the edge of the map looks like uh, or he starts shooting at you and once he starts shooting at you then you got to kind of find him you know by pinpointing the, the fire so um, half the time you're dead by that time uh, according to the steam there is gonna be some multiplayer and co-op also eventually um, so hopefully that gets added Maybe, I don't know if he's looking at doing, like, uh, nothing like a battle royale, but maybe some team death matches, or maybe you can work cooperatively, co cooperatively kind of like, whoa, crap, I'm getting shot at again. So, based on him stop shooting when I'm here, he's probably right there. Where is he? I don't see him.
Okay. Let's go around this other side. Oh, see, look at that. How fast that was. All right. Well, I think I've died enough. <laughs> so. I don't know that I even shot him. I tried. Look at that. I mean, they just got you pegged so fast. This is tough. I'll give them that. This is tough. So see what you can change as far as uh, dual render scopes not even sure what that is dual render scopes um, no idea yeah I don't see a way to get like turn down the difficulty or anything like that um, I'm not sure what dual render scopes does what does that do yeah, I'm not sure okay Let's try one more gun before we call it. Uh, we have this one here. Okay, I like this one. Looks like an M4 frame, maybe, with a, with a scope. Another bad guy here. What if I could shoot him through the window? Oh, he's trying to shoot me through the window. I wish they shot like bad guys in Chuck Norris movies. Got him. Is there another guy? I thought I heard some shooting off to the right here. I don't know. The one thing about the bad guys is they don't move around a whole lot. Once they spot you, they kind of slowly advance on you, which is fine for a demo because you're trying to learn the guns and you're just trying to learn all that stuff. Same. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, crouch. Man, that guy's laying down some suppressing fire. Okay, so you push X, you can... I guess look at the... Look at the gun? Ammo type? Fire mode? I don't know what I'm trying to do here. This guy is... Sending all kinds of rounds down range. Where is he? There he is. Man, there's another one. Okay, so there are more than one. All right. This is kind of cool. This is getting interesting now. Maybe. I thought I heard another gunshot. I do like this gun, though. This gun is freaking sweet. Oh, okay. There was another guy. He was very close. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think I'll call it. I just want to kind of show you guys this demo. It's very bare bones. Uh, my initial thoughts are it has tons of potential, Ton especially looking at this roadmap. It has tons of potential. If this is the baseline for the game, this is going to be a pretty fun game, uh, especially with a developer that has a lot of military experience. If he can maybe add more to the AI, make them run around a little bit more, make them use cover, um, make them not freaking zero in on you so freaking hard. They're like freaking, I don't know, special forces or something. <laughs> um, and of course, he's going to add more items and stuff like that. So just think about it. You're going to have to deal with these NPCs that are special forces, apparently, and you're going to have to deal with hunger, thirst, and all that kind of stuff. So... Uh, just, it's going to be a, it's going to be a really interesting game. So if I'm excited to check it out in quarter three of this year, so we'll definitely do that. And then everything else is TBA. So, all right, thanks guys. We checked out road to, uh... all right guys. Well, thanks a lot. And, uh, we'll catch you guys next Sunday in a new game. See you later. Bye.